Now, I had no idea that IPAPA would get as big as it got. I thought IPAPA would function to get our project done and it'd probably go away. My name is Dan Woodson. I actually started painting uh, like in 1994. Uh, before that, I ran a sign department for Marsh Supermarkets, and I did that for about 26 years. It was in January, a cold day in 1998. Ann Carter, who is the co-founder of, of the um, IPAPA and the Painting Indiana Project, she was working with me at Marsh Supermarkets and we had been to Indianapolis doing a job and we were driving back, going through the country. I remember telling Ann, I said, you know, I'd like to go paint every county in Indiana. She says, why don't you get five of the other artists and kind of simulate the old Hoosier group? Of course, I'm into that anyway, so yeah, that's a good idea. She said, wouldn't it be neat if we could get a hardcover book? And wouldn't it be neat if we could be like in a big museum like the Indiana State Museum? And I'm, I never really th thought that much about it. These are pretty big deals. We need to figure out how are we gonna get four other artists to do this? Well, at the time I did know Lyle Denny because he lived in Muncie. So the next person was Ron Mack and then we went to Bob Everly, and then we went to Don Russell. And unfortunately, Don just passed away a while back. He was such a sweet guy. We had the five guys that we all met together, and to make it fair, what we did was, we took Indiana and divided it uh, into fours. We put all those counties in a half. Pass the hat around, you just reach in and pull out a county and that was your county. That would ensure that all five guys have to go all over Indiana. We knew we had to raise money. So what we wound up doing, we had to set a um, organization up so we could build those grants on that. So that's when we come up with IPAPA. We contacted the Lilly Foundation, sent them a proposal. They sent it back and rejected us and said, we do not do that type of, of uh, donations. So I told Ann, I said, let's send a brochure and an update to Lily as to what we're doing as a courtesy, knowing they're not going to give us any money. We did that. Probably, oh, maybe two weeks later, they contact us and they say, we would like to give you 50,000. We wanted to be in the museum. We wanted a, a book to be printed, and we wanted to be able to auction the paintings off. Those were the three things that we really wanted to get done. I had called Jim May. He was the director of the Indiana State Museum. So we go to Jim May's office, and I took some paintings in, unframed, that I was working on. and. The next thing I know, he says, we're gonna have your opening here. 
John Gallman was the president of IU Press then. We went in and talked with John Gallman, told him what we were doing, and he sits in his chair and he just thinks about it a while. What we're gonna do, we're gonna print a coffee table, larger size. We're gonna print 5,000 copies. They wound up doing 6,000. So that's how we got our book done. We decided that all the profits went to Riley Hospital. It was, it was held at, uh, at, uh, at the time it was called Jackson Wycliffe Auctioneers. Sue Wycliffe at Wycliffe Auctions, who, who did the auction, they did not collect a buyer's premium for them. They collected it and donated that to the Riley Hospital. And I'm thinking that was like around 40 some odd thousand dollars. Uh, we also decided that when the painting sold at auction, that each artist would give um, Ipapa a portion of it. I think it was like 25% from each artist from their sales went to support Ipapa. I think that come to like 125,000 or something like that. <clears throat> now, all of these people in this group, the IPAPA group, all the board members from you know all these years, I think it's been like what 23 years. And all these people get, you know, their board presidents and treasurers and, and, and volunteers, they've all done a tremendous job of keeping IPAPA going. I couldn't ask for anything better to come out of this. And IPAPA to me is just the greatest painting outfit in Indiana.